Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next video, and today we're taking a look at some highlights against Dark Looter Z, the CWO war we had this weekend. Awesome attacks, including the uh, Mass Pekka one you guys saw in the thumbnail and title there. We'll get to all of that, uh, starting with Town Hall 12 and working our way downwards, but very nice attacks on both sides we're going to be seeing, uh, starting at Town Hall 12 here. Um, I'll go ahead and start throwing up this first attack. Now, uh, I would have streamed the end of this war, but I was not by my computer for it, so wasn't able to, uh, to do it live, but I hope this recap can kind of suffice, and I think next weekend oh, I, I should be able to get back into the stream. I think we're going against War Whales, should be a good war, should be able to stream that. Um, I'm also going to be recording another video from this war uh, that I think you guys might like, just kind of a fundamentals, uh, educational type video to help you guys with your attacks. But anyway, um, starting with some of these highlights here, this first one, got to show um, Itsu, uh, great Town Hall 12 attacker, and this one wasn't the cleanest, but um, I liked the adaptations, I liked the idea. And um, it was very close. I mean, there was like three, four seconds remaining in this attack at the end. So um, definitely came down to the wire. I was watching it live. But you can see the wall wrecker kind of goes down that long compartment. He deploys it early because he wants the Valks to come back for the eagle. That rage wasn't the best. It didn't really get the Valks. And it only kind of gets the queen and the healers. Um, so a little bit of a weird rage there. But um, I, lo I love the use of the king. He, I mean, he took out that entire Tesla farm. Um, he'll continue to work his way upwards, even grabbing that archer tower up there. So he does a lot in terms of taking out buildings just to start cleanup almost, and also um, creating the funnel for the queen and taking out defenses. So very valuable charge here. The only thing is uh, the queen, I believe, was intended to go in this compartment here with the eagle so she could take out the defensive queen. However, she goes into that little moat and... He has nothing to really take out the queen with, no skeleton spells, anything like that. So you'll see um, it's a little tricky here on the Lalo with the queen still up. Uh, but the queen, I mean, look at this charge. She pushes through a solid third of the base here, now going towards the town hall, which actually doesn't do that much damage to the queen. It's more doing damage to multiple targets is the power of the town hall. Um, so he goes ahead and pops the queen's ability to get through the king here. Now he's going to have to burn the warden's ability to protect his balloons from the uh, town hall explosion. Only two balloons were really saved, so maybe could have used that warden later, although the town hall might have just taken out the warden uh, entirely, so that might have been a good move. You don't want to use uh, lose your warden before you can even use his uh, ability. But anyway, uh, right here, there's going to be a good freeze on the queen and the inferno. Barely gets that queen, but does get her to prevent her from taking out the warden. And by the time she's unfrozen, the balloons have done their damage. Now, it's funny, the balloons finish with the minions. I mean, cleanup was happening just like one step behind the actual balloons. So, it, I mean, last defense goes down, then like a few seconds later, the last building goes down. Very quick ending. Gets it done just in time. So nice attack to Itsu. Uh, fun to watch. Well, not fun live because we don't like seeing our bases tripled, but um, fun to watch back and appreciate the attack there. I'm going to go ahead and show um, the other Town Hall 12 um, as one of their attacks as well. Uh, we did have one 12v12 on our side, but um, I like this attack and got to give some respect to Dark Looter Z. They've been killing it at Town Hall 12 this season. Put up, I think, a few perfect wars um, so definitely got to show some of the nice Town Hall 12 attacks. I, I, I usually show a lot of ours, but um, we'll show some of DLZ more this war. Um, taking a look at this one, oftentimes in uh, base building at Town Hall 12, the Town Hall side doesn't have many defenses, and that's intentional to prevent a huge value kill squad on that side. But in this case, it makes it easy just to use the queen and like a baby dragon and a few balloons, funnel each side, then send in just a small kill squad with the wrecker and the king basically to take out that town hall. And that's it. Very heavy Laloon, which works nicely because um, there's decent pathing through the base. There are some multi infernos, uh, but dealing with that early makes it easier. So here come the balloons um, coming in just 
uh, on those Teslas, getting those taken out at the beginning as well. Haste spells down. This is obviously a cleanup attack, as pretty much all of these 12v12s are. They're either typically hit by a 10 first, or sometimes maybe a 12 uh, who failed on the attack. So um, not many fresh 12v12s we see these days. But anyway, the balloon's just overwhelming the Infernos here and um, pathing around. The skeleton goes down on the queen, gets her taken out. The bomb tower barely can't reach the queen from that position. So a little bit sketchy. Um, you can see the range of the bomb tower. If it was in the other compartment, would have been able to take out those skeletons, but the queen jumped the wall, which made this a lot easier. Then has the heal and the rage to kind of finish off this portion of the base. Uh, so. Once again, sometimes the pathing breaks down towards the end here, but it's just about having enough balloons left up, even a hound left up towards the very end. It actually splits here, with, uh, which helps with cleanup. So these last few buildings go down. Another nice 12v12. They had, as you can see, I think three of them, and I, and I think very nearly got four. There was a very close, like 99%, I think, on one of our bases. Um, so that's it for 12v12. Let's move on to Town Hall 11 now. Just going to show one hit, um, number 7, which I really liked. This was a fresh hit. Um, Ifada, this guy had a 6-star fresh, uh, fresh hits. So just two fresh triples at Town Hall 11. Very impressive. And I, I'm a huge fan at Town Hall 11. Uh, as you guys know, I have the Trisectatron account, so I'm doing some Town Hall 11 attacks. I'm a huge fan of just a small queen walk that kind of meets up with the kill squad. Don't know why, um, but especially at Town Hall 11, I really like it. And I think the bases, if you can find a good point to break the funnel like right here, you can oftentimes get a queen walk without even having to use a rage on her. Um, I'm a huge, huge fan of these queen walks that don't require rages that are very simple straightforward and create the funnel of one side uh, going into an entry um, there's a golem something you don't see as much anymore typically it's giants but appreciate the golem there uh, to kind of help tank and then check this out uh, doesn't have a freeze so goes ahead and just uses the warden's ability to protect the wall wrecker which is a good idea uh, maybe not the best value in terms of protecting the bowlers but it's going to pay that that wall record gets a little bit farther, opens up a few more walls, um, continues to tank, so the jump spell can be used a little bit later on, and off to the side there to open up the other Inferno Tower. So I like that Warden's ability. Um, the Witches kind of get roasted on the outside a little bit, but some of the bowlers peer off with those Golemites. That's the thing about the Golem is... You do an attack um, with Giants as your tank, and you're not going to be seeing those Giants much past the initial push. They'll be gone uh, as you get towards the end. But when you use a golem, you tend to see those golemites hanging out towards the end, oftentimes doing some very valuable tanking. So just tends to last a little bit longer, although the single inferno can make it a nuisance if it gets targeted right away. But the queen will finish off the air defense there. Her healers will stay alive for the most part. King somehow didn't get targeted for a long time, so just now using the ability and a little bit awkward ending as most of these like mass bowler town hall 11 attacks are because these random defenses stay up like a tesla there and an archer tower over there um, but fortunately has just enough time to finish off the uh the last building here and get the triple so nice attack to ifata um i know i'm killing you guys i'm not showing that pekka attack left let's go ahead and just take a look at it now and then one of our own town hall tens before we wrap this up number 36 um this one was fun to watch, and it wasn't just like um, kind of a mindless P.E.K.K.A. spam. It was a very methodical attack, um, perfect for this base. So let's take a look at it. You can see wizards just to kind of create the funnel, and then these little P.E.K.K.A. walks. The P.E.K.K.A.s don't have to be completely funneled that well because they can funnel themselves, as you see here. They start on the outsides and make their way in. The wall wrecker is down to let everything in. Um, of course, look for those multi-infernos. That's often the key um, to these attacks is you don't have the single inferno, at least not till the back end, and he has some freezes for that. So goes ahead and freezes these defenses just to get some damage off his troops here. Uh, wall Wrecker continuing to push through and just not a lot of damage at this initial entry. And look at these two P.E.K.K.A.s on the outside. That was very nice because those P.E.K.K.A.s are keeping all the other P.E.K.K.A.s inside the base. 
that was hugely important because if the in these types of attacks where like all like Pekka's or like the Falcon or things where you don't have any defense targeting troops, what kills the attack is if they walk around the outside of the base. So adding in these Pekka's and wizards on the outside is going to ensure everything stays inside the base and gets to this last inferno. Um, has a jump spell and then just a few freezes, another rage, a heal. Um, it, it probably helped that it was a dragon CC, not going to do a whole lot of damage to a bunch of Pekka's and the queen can take it out pretty quickly. And then some bowlers hop out of the uh, wall record just now. I think that wall record might have pushed far enough to make the jump spell even not not useful. So that was kind of funny how far the wall record got, but he had the jump spell anyway just to be safe. The Pekka's on the outside make it all the way around the base. Um, count these Pekka's here, the two on the outside still alive. Plus, it's kind of hard to see, but I think there's a solid, like, three, maybe four P.E.K.K.A.s, maybe three on the inside, plus the queen and her ability. Um, just awesome attack, doesn't even use the queen's ability. Fun to watch, and I think we might see P.E.K.K.A.s a little bit more against these multi-infernos, uh, bases where you can keep everything moving through just like that. Um, okay, one more attack I want to show that I liked on our side for Town Hall 10, then we will wrap this thing up here. Um, this one was a hog attack, and um, I just I loved how the queen got into the core here, and it just shows the value in these hog attacks. If you can control the core with your kill squad, that's the key to the hog attack. Um, unlike balloons, the hogs need like a little bit of a thinner uh, pathing. The balloons can handle more of a base. If you have enough balloons, enough spells. They can handle a thicker base, but the hogs need like a thinner lane to move around. So you'll see what I mean here. The wall wrecker pushes in, funnels pretty good. Um, it's kind of a hard funnel right there, a small compartment for everything to go into. So it does a pretty good job, everything considered. I mean, most things are going in right here. Uh, CC helps pull stuff in as well. And then just uh, uses the king's ability. But right here, you'll see um, the Valks in the CC, I think it's Valks, yeah, they're going to clear out the core, the queen will step up right after she takes out this wizard tower, and this is where all the value is gotten, because the hogs are coming through, great timing, it ta they tank the single inferno, so the queen is just kind of protected, that's how you want to do it, you want your queen to be protected by the hogs, but you can see she's helping on each defense as they go along, so it's kind of like teamwork here, because um, the queen's taking out defenses as the hogs are reaching them, um, and that's a lot of damage. The hogs don't do much damage uh, on their own. They need the queen to help there, uh, kind of break down some of those inner defenses, eliminate spring traps, move them through quicker, and then has this last heal um, for the multi-inferno, pops the queen's ability, uh, but the entire key to this attack was controlling the core, getting the queen in there, and kind of clearing it out, making a nice donut for the hogs to kind of go around, keeping them out of the middle, keeping the pathing tight within a heal spell stuff like that. So that'll do it for this video. Hope you guys like the highlights. Good war to Dark Looter Z. They're definitely going to be a contender um, uh, for the championship once again. Looking for a back-to-back -back win uh, in CWL invite. So hopefully we will see them late in the playoffs. Um, I think we're 2-2 two and two now, but Looking forward to the war next weekend against War Whales, which I'll hope to stream for you guys. Until then, thanks for watching. More videos coming. See you guys later. By the way, Town Hall 11 base building video. Haven't forgotten. Doing my best. You'll hear more soon. Um, see you guys later, though. Bisectatron out.